You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring the scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom, and in this episode, we are thinking about Greek vocabulary, which means that this is a Greek vocabulary episode. And in these episodes, what we do is we look, or we've been looking at Greek roots in order to help us, just one Greek root at a time, build our Greek vocabulary. And so this week's Greek root is the Greek root lamp. Now, this is spelled Lambda Alpha Mu P. So uh, <clears throat> uh, it, it looks like if you were to transliterate, it would be like L A M P, uh, hence the title of this. Uh, but really, actually, um, uh, phonologically speaking, when you have a mu followed by the letter P in Greek, it's the only place in Greek where we actually get a B sound. So it's Lamb, Lamb, Lamb. Right, that's the only time it happens when you get a mu and a p. That's where you get a b. So remember, beta, right, is actually veta. So we don't get b sounds from uh, veta. The only time we get a b sound is when we have a mu followed by a p. So this is lamb. All right. So we are going to look at a few words. I'm going to pull up stepbible.org, and we're just going to do a quick search and see what we get. All right, so here we go. If you're watching, you got a little bit of an advantage because you'll be able to see up on the screen. If you're just listening, that's fine too. Let's hit search. I'm going to set my keyboard to Greek and uh, begin typing in lamp. There we go. Let's see. We have a few things. We have um, lampas, which is a window. We have a lampo, which is to shine. Lampros, which is shining. Uh, lamprotes, brightness, uh, lampadion, an oil lamp bowl. Let's look at see if there are a few more. Um, we have we have lampene, uh, and then we have lampenicos. So this will have to do with like the covering of a chariot, and then we have uh, lamter, uh, lamter, a torch. So several of these have to do with lighting and we're thinking particularly about uh lampros whoops oh let's look again sorry about that um we have lambros so remember that mu p lambros it's gonna get a b sound in there um lambrotes not doing a p sound but a b sound lambros again with the omega and then lambo Lambadion, um, and then Lamder, Lamter, sorry, Lamter. So let's look at just the verb form. There's six times Lambo. Uh, and the first occurrence, Matthew 5.15, then we have 16, then 17.2. We also have Luke in Acts, and then one in 2 Corinthians. So um, we have Lambi in Matthew 5.15, Lambi. And um, uh, and he lets it shine for everyone in the house, or he, he lets it, um, and it shines uh, for all of those who are in the house, or for all in the house. Then we have uh, utos uh, lampsado to um In this manner, let your light shine, embros uh, tentonanthropon, before people or humans. Matthew seventeen two we have ke elamsen to prosoponavtu and um, he he shone his face shone os o elios as or like but probably as the sun. Uh, we have Luke seventeen twenty four we have um, istein upuranon lambi um, into <coughs> well this is an interesting. Uh, Interesting uh, thing we have here. So, um, so this is something like it. This translated flashes, um, and well, it shines up the sky or lights up the sky. I think to upuranon lambi, um, 
that shines uh, or lights up the sky. And then Acts uh, 12.7, we have Kefos Elamsen Indo Yukemati. Uh, and so, and a light shone in the house. Um, and then finally, the last occurrence of this, we have actually two. We have Excotus Vos Lampsi Vos Elamsen Indes Cardies Simon. And so out of the darkness, light shines, um, which shone in our hearts, or which is shined in our hearts, something along those lines. So this has to do, when we have lamb, it has to do with shining, just like a, now you look at it, lambda off of mu p, it looks like the English word in transliteration, lamp. And so that's your mnemonic device for this. Uh, but remember, the pronunciation is really lamb. All right, uh, we're going to stop there uh, for this episode. And I'll say, I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills, but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.